What goes on in your brain in the moment right before death? There is now information that could shed some light. WDRB's Darby Bean walks us through the research. What happens when we die? The age-old question is now getting some answers, not about the heart, but about the human brain. I think it's a pretty unique piece. There is uh, nothing like it in the world. It's a new study just published about the first ever recording of a dying human brain, and a neurosurgeon in Louisville has a big role in the research. I was in Canada, and this was a patient that I was uh, treating in Canada. He says it was back in 2016, when an 87-year-old patient in Vancouver had a brain bleed that required surgery. Days later, the patient was having seizures, and that's when an EEG came into play. This device attached to the scalp will record brain activity like a seizure. But this time, it captured something unexpected. While he had that attached to his brain, he had a heart attack and died. So that put us in the position of having the first recording of a human brain from a life or death. At the moment, we were mostly focused on treating the patient. We didn't think about any of this. Afterwards, I realized what this was. In the years since, no previous examples have been found to add to the study. So scientists decided now to go ahead and publish the findings based on brainwaves about what happens in the moments right before death. And the phrase, life flashing before your eyes, may not be so far-fetched. Signals similar to what it looks like to recall memories. There is certainly ground to say this is a possible neurophysiological uh, uh, basis that could let us have flashbacks just before we die. This is just one case, and as answers do, it's led to more questions. So when are we really dead? Is it the stop of the heart, or should we consider to attach an EEG to the patient's head to determine that as the final time of death. These findings have captivated international attention. All of us are going to die at some point. If we face that with a loved one, with ourselves, I think I'm hoping that this research can shed some light on what happens in the last moments of our life and what we experience. Those behind the research are looking to other scientists to see about any other possible recordings to help determine if the brain activity, like in this case, could be confirmed in other cases. Darby Bean, WDRB News.